What's exciting about 3D printing and additive manufacturing is we can now build these very difficult shapes that have performance characteristics that you may not be able to achieve otherwise. The next frontier for this industry is manufacturing and design for additive manufacturing. It's absolutely one of the obstacles to further growth in this industry, particularly in the context of uh, using additive manufacturing for production quantities. Yeah, it's critical when designing for additive to be aware that it's, it flips most norms of design on its head. So usually you try and make things as simple as possible and you try and do as few machining cuts or less complex forms just to make things easier to make. With additive, you get a lot of benefits with complexity because you can reduce the material used, reduce the machining time, and so you really need to rethink how you approach design. Some of the most interesting examples of uh, using additive manufacturing for actual production quantities, uh, healthcare is a big one. Cranial facial, maxial facial types of implants. What it is, it's bone. Taking a uh, human bone and scaling it up by 50 or 100 times. Another area is aerospace. We're seeing adoption by the engine manufacturers, Boeing and Airbus. I mean, if you fly on an aircraft today, chances are very, very good that 3D printed parts are on that aircraft. We're also seeing some consumer products too, like 3D printed guitars, more limited edition custom type products. The list goes on and on. If you look ahead years into the future, I, I think that we're, we're, we're going to need tools that will help us out, software tools with lots of compute power that can take certain load conditions and other factors and then come up with possibilities that we could possibly do with manual CAD tools, but would take so much time and effort. And so companies like Autodesk and, and others developing software like NetFab and generative design and cloud computing is really helping companies benefit from additive manufacturing. Autodesk has built up its additive manufacturing tool set. We can make a, a workflow which goes either end-to-end -end for a single user or for a company to hit all the points they need in the manufacturing process with multiple users using the same software. So there's uh, no transferring of files between different software, which is which you lose a lot of information that way. And so we think that by uh, making a complete workflow, which can be used um, for additive manufacturing, we can help uh, designers, engineers, and companies really make um, 3D printing work. The products that are being developed, some are extraordinary, and I don't think we really know what the implications are, what, how, how this will unfold in the future. I think we're just uh, scratching the surface in terms of tools and, and certainly know-how in developing new designs. And for you to be able to sit back and watch these designs form before you, it's really very, very exciting.